The objective of this lesson is to use the knowledge of the formula used to calculate the area of a parallelogram to reason about the formula used to calculate the area of a triangle. In previous lessons, students decomposed and rearranged parallelograms to generate the formula for the area of a parallelogram. Area equals base times height. Today, students will decompose and recompose triangles to create parallelograms. There are multiple ways to decompose the triangles. Let's begin with the problem. An architect designed a room with triangular windows. The large windows have a base of 9 feet and a height of 8 feet. What is the area in square feet of each large window? Let's start by drawing the triangle on graph paper. Each square will represent one square foot. The base is 9 feet and the height is 8 feet. One way to calculate the area of the triangle would be to decompose the triangle into a trapezoid and one triangle, then recompose it into a parallelogram. Start by dividing the triangle into a trapezoid with a height of 4 feet and a triangle with a height of 4 feet. Now, rotate the triangle 180 degrees until it fits along the side of the trapezoid to create a parallelogram. The base of the parallelogram is still 9 feet. This is the same base as the original triangle. The base measurement did not change. The height of the parallelogram is 4 feet. The height of the original triangle was 8 feet. The parallelogram's height is half of the height of the original triangle because the original triangle was decomposed in order to create a parallelogram. The formula to calculate the area of the parallelogram would be the base, 9 feet, times the height, 4 feet, equals 36 square feet. What formula could be generated using the base and height of the parallelogram to calculate the area of the triangle? It would be the area equals base times one half height because the base remains the same when recomposing the triangle into a parallelogram, but the height is half the height of the original triangle. Area equals nine times one half of eight, which equals nine times four, which equals 36 square feet. Another way to find the area would be to create a parallelogram by pairing the triangle with a second congruent triangle. The two triangles together create a parallelogram with a base of 9 feet and a height of 8 feet. The formula for the area of a parallelogram can then be used and divided by 2, as the area of one triangle is half the total of the area calculated. The area of a parallelogram can be found by multiplying the base times height. The area of this parallelogram would be 9 feet times 8 feet equals 72 square feet. Because the parallelogram is created by placing two of the triangles together, in order to find the area of one triangle, divide the area of the parallelogram, 72 square feet, by 2. 72 divided by 2 equals 36 square feet. The area of the triangle is one half of the area of the parallelogram. If the formula for the area of the parallelogram is base times height, then the formula for the area of the triangle is one half of the base times height. Earlier, we found that the formula for the area of the triangle was area equals base times one half height. Are these two formulas the same? They are because the commutative property of multiplication states that when multiplying, the order does not matter. Therefore, the one half in the second formula can be moved to the front and the answer will still be the same. The objective for this lesson was to use the knowledge of the formula used to calculate the area of a parallelogram to reason about the formula used to calculate the area of a triangle. We met this objective by decomposing a triangle and recomposing it into a parallelogram in order to find the area. We also found that two congruent triangles can compose a parallelogram. We found the formula for the area of any triangle is one half base times height.